four-wheel drive 24-7, we're always pushing the limits of four-wheel driving. But sometimes... That's it, now drive through it. Even we go a bit too far. I don't have any gears to hold me here. I think he's just flexing. Yeah. I have zero drive. This episode, we take on New South Wales' toughest stomping ground. <laughs> the Wadiguns. Drive through it. And let's just say, even we didn't expect what happens next. Holy heck. Turn it off. Yeah. You right? Well, sometimes they don't always come back down. Hey, Sean, you got a copy? Sure do, big fella. Mate, it's been a hot minute since we've been out wheeling together, but what better way to crack back into it than some tough New South Wales tracks, eh? Mate, I love the Wattos, and you're right, I haven't been here for ages. Mate, these corrugations haven't got any better, I'll tell you that much. I'm pretty, pretty keen to hit some of these tracks, and from memory, they go from wild to pretty darn wild. I right, always look forward to see what you've got planned, mate. You lead the way, and uh, yeah, show us what you got. I'll do that, let's do it. We've got an awesome selection of vehicles in the convoy for this trip, so we're going to use it as a bit of a testing ground to show you guys how no matter what type of vehicle you're wheeling, you can still get out there and keep up with even the most capable rigs. Now, you've obviously noticed by now that I'm back in Sooty 2.0. Sooty is still sporting the 1HZ engine we swapped back in Tassie in just 24 hours after I blew the 1HDT. But either way, I'm stoked to be back in old soot and I reckon that the Wadigans is a perfect place to put it through its paces. Jocko's heading this convoy because, well, let's be honest, he spent more time in the Wattos than probably his own backyard and he's wheeling his pride and joy, the mighty Luxie. Jocko knows his players inside and out and if I know him well as I think I do, I reckon he's got some pretty wild tracks lined up for us. Third in this convoy, we've got none other than As in the Big Mitt 79. Sporting the short canopy, making the 79 the ultimate tough wheeling and touring package. Behind him, B Double Bailey, running the Maverick Ranger. Bailey's been a legend and brought along the Maverick Ranger Limited camper trailer for us to use as a base camp, which we're going to leave at a mint little campsite we've got lined up later down the track. Now rounding out the convoy is a new face to join the four-wheel drive 24-7 team, our good mate Liam from Steady. Now, this is Liam's first trip with us, but the Steady crew haven't come unprepared. They've built up this weapon of a 200, so it's ready for anything the Wadigans might throw at it, day or night. You don't have to drive far on the Wadigans to find some tough tracks that will test the limits of both four-wheel drive and driver. We're not mucking around on this trip, so I've pointed our noses to a track that will really push the limits of all rigs in the convoy. All right, Greens Break Road. Box steps always look way bigger when you get closer to them. Uh, it's trying to climb front and back. I was trying it unlocked. I'll have another go. I'll come up this way. Is yeah. unlocked? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're just messing around. Hey, Jocko, no. I'd come up this line, mate. Yeah, right on. Just come straight, if you want to. Yeah. There you can have a go. Just have a little play, see what Very good. These are the sorts of tracks that I built this vehicle for, and so far the Luxie is absolutely loving it. Good spotting, boys. This is the bit I'm sketched out about. That's the bit where I do all my flares and door. Yeah, wow. Wow. That feels wild. Yeah, that doesn't look so. Very good. <laughs> that was a decent angle, that was fun. I think the problem for us is gonna be, well, a lot of problems, but Mainly doors, seals, guards, flares, you name it, on this side. Right, oh, mate, uh, well, you saw how I did it. What's the plan here? Just going to send big soot straight up? Yeah, I'm I'm going to try and straddle that second one, mate, but it's pretty committing. Um, if I get it wrong and slide down, I'm definitely going to do damage, but we'll just have a look, eh? Yeah, that's it. 
Stay to me, yep. Stay to me, stay to me. Yep, beautiful mate, walked up. You're actually pretty nice now if you yeah. want to stay high. Stay really high? Or? Yeah, I reckon. You reckon it'll do it? I reckon it'll do it. You'll just have to take it nice and slow. All right, I'll get you to spot me, mate. Right, I'm gonna put soot in your hands, okay? Sooty's got a bit more weight than the Lux, but Sean's got reduction yeah, gears so fitted much. in it now, which means he's got so much more control yeah. on the more technical oh. wheeling, and so far, soot is eating it up. Perfect, mate. Smidge your left hand down, just a smidge. A little bit more left. That's it, stay on that, that's perfect. Your rear's climbing up now. She feels kind of smooth through here. Beautiful, mate. Your front's about to drop down, but then it's gonna feel much better after that, so stay on that line. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Smidge your right hand down. More right, more right. Yep, come up on that. A little bit more right, that's it. Yep, starting to climb up on the front. That's it, now left hand down as you come up. That's you, it's gonna feel worse before it gets better, but you can drive through that. Drive through it. Yep, that's you, that's you. Beautiful. <laughs> Textbook, how good is that? Jocko. Ah. A bit of clutch, I'm sorry about that, mate. There was, there's a lot, that's not the only spell in here, though. I'll tell you that for free. Mate, that was textbook. He kept it right where it needed to be, and then when oh, it was time to drive had, through it. I had to do two things. Completely listen to you and commit. And uh, there's two things that were very hard to do then. Mate, absolutely walked oh, up. But well, well done. done. Well done, mate. Well done. What else is? The boys are going to love that one. <laughs> Look, I've driven this car enough um, over the last year to, to really know its capabilities and, and what it's made of. I think that's a little bit above this car's pay grade. So for me, I'm just gonna take this little chicken track here. There's no shame in doing so. The good thing is though, he's still got to cross over there, which is a bit wild. That and crossover will be wild. There's a couple of big steps here, so he's got all the big ruts and everything like that. Something tells me the... Oh, sorry, is he stuck <laughs> down there already? <laughs> yeah, not as easy as we thought. <laughs> Forward. Now, as just hit the glass house with us in the mid-79, so he spent a lot of time on three wheels recently. Well, mate, I hope he got used to it because I reckon it'll be about the same on this trip, mate. Very nice. That's a go. Ah. Oh, <coughs> so close, so close. <laughs> a little, it's a little bumpy bump. Yeah, and a little bit of right end. Hey, do you want me to lock this hub in your peanut? Isn't it locked? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, I stitch himself stitch up. up. <laughs> I thought I locked it. <laughs> That's, That's it. Really that made a difference. Very well done. Look at the leaf spring. <laughs> Look at this. You hear us bang on about leaf springs and, and especially with the 79 getting in the way. That's what, uh, what happens here. It gets right up in the rocks and that's what usually holds them up. Even with the big tyres. Oh, that's going to feel ugly. That is an angle. <laughs> It also helps having four wheel drive. Whoa. Yes. Ooh, the bar's gonna get a workout. Oh, when the tray. Nice and strong. Look at it go. It's going steady for this one. That is a serious lean for a big 79. <laughs> His angles and the wheel lifts make it a pretty wild little ride. It's good fun. <sighs> All right, Bales, we believe in you, mate. Cool. That's the go. Keep going this way. All right, now steer left. Well done, mate, well done. Well, yeah, I think he might have done a rear axle or something, eh? Yeah. Making a horrible noise. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, just try, try and drive forward just from there. There are some worrying noises coming out the back of Bailey's Ranger. And after a bit of a diagnosis, we've worked out that Bailey's rear locker isn't engaging properly. So he's just going to have to continue unlock for now. As nice as that Maverick Camper Base Camp sounds, you're not getting out of this one that easy, Bailey. Have a go on that, Bales. 
We're going to winch Bailey up the first step, then he'll be back under his own steam. But I reckon he's going to need to use a fair bit of momentum to carry him through the rest of the track, particularly when he starts lifting wheels. I've got no idea how he's broken any of that drivetrain. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's found fourth gear, I think. Holy heck. Wow. Yeah. He's not hanging around. <laughs> Look at that, another wheel lift. <laughs> hey. He's on. He's having fun. Oh, you're not carrying the beers. Well, there you go, mate. You saw that. <laughs> Bailey should have given you a fair bit of confidence now. But what line are you going to take? You're going to go... Oh, look, I'm twin locked. I'm a bit wider. I reckon I'll give the big boy a line go. Yeah, That's the go. I like the enthusiasm there. <laughs> Just go back a smidge, a bit more right as you come up. Right in now, yep. Liam's given a proper first crack in the 200 and has just been caught up by the sliders. We're gonna reset him and pack the hole on the right hand side in front of his tire, which should give him enough clearance on the sliders. Off the slide, off the slide. That's it. What a drive, mate. Well done. That's the first step cleared, but the next one is the real challenge. He's made it up the first one successfully. This one here, you can't really go too wrong as long as the tyres go in the right spot. And that's why I'm <laughs> handing the reins over to Jocko, because if he bins the 200, well, that, that's on you, mate. So I'm yeah. going to watch from a distance here. Good luck. Thanks, mate. It's going to step back a bit. Hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left. Yeah, that's it. Come forward a bit, smidge your right, that's it. By getting the 200's right hand tyres up the bank, we'll hopefully avoid putting Liam in the rut and potentially doing panel damage. Pretty serious angle. The 200 is a wide vehicle. My Hilux cab is way narrower and I barely fit through. So we don't want to risk panel damage this early in the trip. It's going to drop in the front. <clears throat> Keep coming on that. Might start to steer left a bit. Sorry, right. right. <laughs> steer right, steer right <laughs> a bit. Yep, that's it. Smidge your left, yep. Now smidge your right, yep. Very good. That's it, mate, that's it. Starting to climb at the front, this is where you're gonna have to commit. Right, talking over, start to drive. Start to drive, start to drive. Yep, that's it, that's it. Now drive through it, drive through it. Beautiful. Very good. <laughs> Oh, you mad dog. <laughs> How'd that feel? Oh man, that was tippy. It felt like I was going over. But, there, was a, uh... there was a lot of silent places watching, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. That was well steered, mate, and the Steady 200 is already looking at home on these tracks. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it sounds good, eh? That was all eight cylinders, all power. Well, this looks like a decent little rock set, mate. This should be fun. It really does, doesn't it? This whole track is a lot of fun, mate. This has got a bit of everything. Look at the big Hilux go. It's a thing of beauty from the backside, mate. She loves it, mate, just idling her way up. Big sort of walk up that, I reckon. It has plenty of traction. Jocko. <laughs> Few things in this world I love more than that. <laughs> You've just done your tire, Bailey. Now, what we didn't show you off camera is there's a few wombat holes to clear before you get to this step, and it looks like Bailey's bad luck is continuing with a tire off the rim. It looks like the tire's got no punctures, so this will be a pretty textbook fix. But Bailey's luck seems to be running thin today, and things are about to go from bad to worse. Oh, you just go straight, mate. Holy heck! Wow. There's not um, Turn it off. Yeah. You're right. On um. It's, it's on the tray, is it? It's on the canopy door. 
Ah. The, the car hasn't even touched you on the step. Whoa, well, I didn't. We can probably push yeah. him back over. Yeah. Grab a, where's that? Yeah. Snatch bag, Jocko. What we might do, yeah, if you want to bring yours up, we'll get your winch on this side as well. Yeah, right. And we'll just do it really controlled. When you, you actually have to be quite careful coming back over though. Well, that was pretty wild, but the important thing here in this situation is just to slow things down, make sure everything's nice and safe. So that's why we're hooking up two winches so we can bring the vehicle back down safely. It's actually sitting pretty hard on that side, so it's not going to go anywhere. Bailey's inside, we're just going to leave him in there for now. He's happy to stay in there. This goes to show how quickly it can all go a little bit pear-shaped. I don't think Bailey saw that rut in front of him, so he gave it a lot of momentum. Probably to make up for having no rear lockers, hit that rut at full tilt and it's just lifted a tyre. Instead of coming back down, well, sometimes they don't always come back down. Yeah, big tree. Yeah. We're going to extra precaution to get you off real safely, so we're going to use two winches and it's going to be real controlled. So here's the plan. We've got Bailey's winch on here. This is going to be Jocko's job. You can come on that side. I'm going to let this one out. So we've got Liam's winch from the steady rig on a pulley block. So as this one sort of pulls the vehicle back down, this one's going to catch it so it doesn't go back over. That's the last thing I want to do. Jocko's probably right though. It wouldn't go over, but we just want to take every precaution under the sun. All right. All right. Ready, Bailey? Yeah, mate. Ooh, that mid Coming down nice and slow, mate. This is a pretty serious situation, and it's always key to make sure everyone is safe and take your time in the recovery. Once we made sure Bailey was safe and the vehicle can't go anywhere, he's actually taken his seatbelt off to give him a little bit more room to move and steer the vehicle as we recover it. So Bales, what we're going to do now, mate, you've uh, done a bead on the back here. We'll leave that winch on. You steer a little bit of left hand down in a second, not yet. Yeah. We'll get you to drive forward and winch in at the same time, just yeah. to keep the nose of the vehicle down as you come up. Yeah. And you want to winch and drive, you don't want to give it too much put, but just yeah. this is going to hold you, so it's not going to happen again. Yeah. You just need to trust on your button. You'll see. There you go. Now you've got steering, so turn left. That's it. That's it, mate. Trust your button. Stay on that. Right hand down a bit, mate. That's it. Just, just real. Yeah, that's it. You might reset that winch, eh? Yeah. We're just relocating that winch to a more of a straight pull, so he doesn't go up the bank anymore. We'll get him up here. It's going to feel a lot better in about I don't know, 15 seconds. What I'm surprised about the most, the canopy took the full brunt of that. And that's there's not even a scratch on it. Good, mate. It's old. <laughs> that's out of the control. I think strong. Bailey's worried about the canopy, but <laughs> we haven't told him yet. But it's absolutely, I think it's got a little scratch on it. That's about it. That step, though. Yeah, the step's seen better, Dave. <laughs> well, that's all the proof you need that Mitts build these canopies tough. A little bit of left. That's it. Bailey's done really well to get his Ranger back down on all fours. And slowly but surely, it's being pulled to safety. I gotta say, that was a close call. It just goes to show how things can go pear shaped pretty quickly. Yeah, it's all over, or how that works? Oh, yeah. Change my underwear quick. Crikey, we'll get some razor back seat covers, yeah. mate. <laughs> no, that's alright. How are you? Feeling alright? Uh, a little bit shaking, that always wakes you up a little bit. It when does, mate. That, you know what? You've, you've, you've certainly come to the party with all the entertainment today, Bales. Well, he may be a bit shook, but there's no better way to recover than to get straight back into the driver's seat. Good on you, Bailey. Alright, it's made your left hand down now. That's it. Nice and steady. Yep, that's it. Right hand down. Right hand down. That's it. That's it, mate. Now go. There you go. Hey, well done, <laughs> Bailey. Beautiful, well mate. Done. Well, that was pretty eventful to say it lightly, but Bales has done really well to get up that rock step, and I reckon he's earned himself a well-deserved breather. Next up, the big steady rig. That's it, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> Got the right amount of pumps. With all the drama that's unfolded in the day so far, it looks like the sun's getting a little bit low in the sky and we're only about halfway along this track. So I guess that only means one thing. 
Mate, this has been an epic little track, and the best part is, looks like there's some pretty wild stuff up ahead. Came for a night run? Mate, we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, absolutely certain of that. Um, I don't think we've got no choice, mate, to crack into the night, but that's half the fun. I reckon uh, we chuck the rock lights on and get stuck in, eh? All right, night run in the Wattos. See how we go up this little step. Look at it crawl. How slow can you go? My foot's not on the accelerator, so it's... <laughs> that was uh, very controlled, Jocko. Idly boy. How good are rocks? I've got to say, even after 10 years of owning this vehicle, it never fails to put a smile on my face on tracks like this. It's just eating them up. Look at that, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, I reckon similar approach, mate. Just, uh, yeah, go for a little drive and see what happens. Roger that, mate. I reckon you'll walk up, so uh, send her up. She's looking good with those lights, too. Yep, that's pretty nice. If he either needs to go, yeah. Just like that, eh? No. I made that look super easy. At least with the rock lights, you can see exactly what I'm nipping out on. <laughs> what you can't really see here is on the right hand side, there's a tree you have to avoid, which has had more than a few panels brush up against it. But as the vehicle tries to climb the step, it's talking over and leaning right into that tree. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lights are out, mate. It's night time officially. That doesn't stop us, it's though, does it, mate? time for the big rock crawling 79 oh, no. to send oh, no. it on up, mate. This is about as much fun as you can have behind the wheel of a four-wheel drive. I love night runs it's, so much. It's super much. cool. Like, there's something to be said about going to camp, making a fire, watching the sunset, or you can just be out in the track wheel. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> That's what we're doing tonight. It's been a while since I've done green break, not in the dark. Very nice, very nice. There you go, the big turn. As has seen the line to take, and with the longer wheelbase on the 79, he's gonna have to execute this one perfectly. Easy, 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 easy. Walks well, up. It's fast. Loves it, mate. There we go. Very good The perfect line. <laughs> Rock falling 79. Oh yeah. Oh, well steered, as. All right, Bailey's up, and I reckon he'll be doing everything he can to keep that vehicle on all fours for this one. And with no rear locker, it's going to be no easy feat. That's it. That's it. Right through it. Yep, that's it. Stay on that. That's it, mate. That's it. That's it. Now right, 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 right. Slow down, mate. Slow, slow, slow. That's it. Well that's done. It. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Well that was done, good. mate. Wasn't too scary. No. <laughs> Last but not least, the big steady 200. Yeah, hey, um, do you have any lights, mate? Oh, look, I've got a couple. I'll flick them on. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got to cook dinner on that. Yeah. <laughs> Liam steered it well so far in the daylight, but night runs are usually a little bit more tricky. Then again, with all the lights he's got on that 200, it's practically daylight on this track anyway. Easy, mate. Oi! Don't need that bit anyway. <laughs> there is a tree right at the top that everyone gets really close to, so hold it far left. Right hand down now, mate. That's it. Well done. 
<laughs> you mad bugger. I'll tell you what, mate. Sitting on the side there, I'd love to say I saw that drive. I know you got to the top, but I didn't see a <laughs> single thing. There's so much light coming out of your vehicle. It's just outrageous. Oh, mate, I've got it all going on. Four lights on the front, light on the roof. Daylight. It really is. It really is, mate. We couldn't see a thing. We couldn't spot you, but you somehow managed to just wiggle your way up that rock step. And I mean, that is not an easy one either. Yeah. That is quite a. Take a big 200 up here that, you know, it's a heavy vehicle. You yeah. steer that thing perfectly. Mate, it's wide, but you can fit well, it straight up there. It helps if you can see, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Righto. Next challenge, mate. All right, let's go. Well, the boys have done a good job navigating that climb in the dark. And with the end of the track in sight, I reckon the boys have got cold beers and a comfy bit of canvas on their mind. Whoa! <laughs> we never know how it goes! That's a ticket. With the last bit of the hill steered with some gusto, we're up and that's Green Break Road done. And might I add, not without its fair share of drama. Well, mate, I don't know about you, that was an epic little oh, night run. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It's been way too long since I've done a proper night run, and we can probably thank Bailey for this, because <laughs> without you, mate, we'd probably be finished hours ago. No, <laughs> I, I had an absolute, absolute ripper of a time, and it reminds me when I used to do this all the time. Yeah. Finish work, go yeah. for a night run. I don't know, I feel about 20 years younger, mate. Good, mate, it's tough tracks at night. How good, mate? Well, yeah. camp's not too far away. Find a campsite. Roll some canvas out. I might even crack a beer, mate. Oh, what stop a night. it. Let's what do a night. it. <laughs> With the night getting on, we've got a perfect little spot smack bang in the middle of the waters that'll serve us well for a proper night's rest. Today's events have really tested the boys, but I reckon they all had a ripper of a time. Get some sleep, lads, because if you thought today was wild, wait till you see what I've got lined up for tomorrow. I always hope you're loving our adventure down on the tough tracks of New South Wales. Every time I get sooty down on those tracks, I'm in for an absolute blast, and this trip is no exception. Now, if you're in the market for a lift kit, now trust me, you'll need a lift kit if you want to tackle tracks like that. Do yourself a favour, because Fulcrum actually have 50% off the installation of all lift kits up until the 31st of March. So if you want to choose a lift kit online, click the click and fit, and then you'll get 50% off the installation by true professionals down at one of the Fulcrum stores. That means you can literally save hundreds of dollars and have that money in your pocket to use for diesel, so you can go and enjoy adventures just like I'm having right now. But like I said, hurry up because this offer ends on the 31st of March. Right now, Oricom have a ripper deal on where you can save 139 bucks on an in-car 5 watt UHF paired with a 6.5 dBi antenna, just in time for Easter with free delivery anywhere in Australia for just 289 bucks. And check out what you get. First up, it's the UHF 360. It's an in-car 5 watt. I've been running one in the Pony Lux for a couple of years, and I absolutely love it because the transceiver is nice and small, so I've tucked mine behind the dash, but then you get a nice long cable to the handpiece, which has all the controls on it, so you can change volume and channel real quick and easy. Pair that with a black 6.5 dBi antenna, which is the ultimate all-rounder, and you've got yourself a cracking UHF setup that won't break the bank. So jump on it quick and don't miss out at oricom.com.au. Well, we've managed to get a couple of hours of shut-eye and just as well because I think today we're going to need all the energy we can muster for the tracks that Jocko's got lined up. Well, mate, that was an epic first track for the Wattos, but uh, what do you reckon we head out of camp and get into another tough one, hey? Yeah, look, I wouldn't expect anything else, mate. The Wadigans is the home to tough tracks. It's only easy or hard. They forgot to put media ones in this place. So, mate, I'm, I'm guessing you're not going to take us down an easy one. You better lead the way. Nah, you're exactly right, mate. I've got a pretty nice one marked on the VMS, and uh, it's stepping up the difficulty a bit. So, what do you reckon we get our skates on? Head into another tough as nails track. How good, eh? After yesterday's events, I reckon the boys are going to be extra careful to keep their vehicles on all fours. But the track I've lined up for them today might make that a little bit tricky. And up ahead, the first big challenge of the day. So this is the challenge, isn't it, mate? It is, and uh, I've driven it before, years ago, and I feel like it's gotten bigger since then. So yeah. I don't know how it's going to go. I've got a little bit of a bone to pick, I'm not going to lie. 
Like every time I've ever driven anything lane, it's usually, a, it's not even a full road. It's a little tiny lane, cobblestones, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking. This it's is like, a proper lane. <laughs> this is not a lane. This is a wild track, man. And you got this massive big rock step. It really humbled me last time, and hopefully this time I can make a better impression on it, but... Redemption round, I reckon. I don't know, it's washed out pretty hard. It has, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to get you, a Hilux up here. You go first. All right, okay. let's do it. Get into it, mate. I want to try and angle myself up to it a bit. I'm just going to watch this rock here. Make sure I don't hit the cab on it. <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> The technique with this one is to get your vehicle lined up to avoid those big boulders on the side, get the front of the vehicle up, then give it a bit of right boot to bump the rear up. Well, that's the idea anyway. Well done. It's the old second gear dog. That's it. Well done, boys. This is where the Luxy belongs, I reckon. Right, mate, time to bring Big Soot up. Uh, one thing I noticed is my cab got pretty close to some of these rocks, so we might need to uh, just keep an eye on your nice, shiny, straight cab on some of these tighter sections, but I reckon you'll nail it. Now, so he's got a bit more weight in the rear compared to Jocko's Hilux, and with the old 1AZ motor in there, I'm gonna need to use all the horsepower she's got to get up this one. I just wanna like, angle over a bit. That was it though. Very close. Was it? Yeah. yeah, I can go from there. <laughs> she wants it. It was up. It was up. <laughs> oh. It's just not going to quite do it. Ah, oh, that's a darn shame. It was so close. But the undercut rocks are just catching Sean and Big Soot out right at the end. Once you get over that rock step, there's a stack of cool little rocks that are here you've got to navigate through. It's just a really fun track. Well, it wouldn't be a Watto's trip without a few new love marks on the Raptor coating, but I reckon it'll buff out. The rest of the convoy have had a good crack at this one, but in the end, after a few good attempts, the rock step proves to be just a little bit too big, and they need to get their under out as well. I guess that makes you king of this hill, Jocko. With the first big challenge done and dusted with almost no damage to the convoy, it's onwards and upwards. Whiteman's Lane is full of tricky rock gardens that you've got to navigate your vehicle through, and it's the perfect testing ground for anyone to learn the ins and outs of their rig. And I reckon the boys are absolutely loving it. Don't get comfortable on the easy stuff though, boys, because up ahead, it gets steep. How's this? The track just goes into some dense, like, rainforest, and you picked it. More rocky hill climbs. There it is. There it is. Ha. The Luxie's been eating up the track so far, so I've decided to try and navigate this step without the lockers to see if it's got the might to tackle this challenge the old school way. Unlock challenge, baby. It looks like the track is just a bit too steep and the Luxie's just struggling to find traction through the tyres. It's important to note that at this point I've put this vehicle through hell and back for over a decade now. And, well, it's pretty much held up its own. But eventually, like anything, parts on a four-wheel drive get tired and, well, yeah. That didn't sound good.
I think I just blew my transfer case. That doesn't sound good. I don't have any gears to hold me here. Do, do you mind if while they're coming up, can we just hook the winch up just to secure the vehicle? Yeah. I was just like, I, I was doing the unlock challenge to here and then I couldn't get up here. I had a few guys drive up and it was just like bouncing around and I just went bang. A big bang like this is never a good thing and Jocko's got a pretty good idea of what's happened here. The problem is we're only halfway along the track and there's still a stack of tough challenges ahead before we get off this one. So we might be in for a pretty wild afternoon. It was a decent bang. Can you grab it? What's your rear tail shaft on? <clears throat> it's fine, it's sweet. Why don't you jump in, try and take off and have a look underneath? I've got, yeah, because um, I had it in first and Luke looked and the, neither shafts um, was fitting. So I wonder, the if shafts aren't. I wonder if it's the output shaft in the gearbox or something, or the output shaft under the transfer. Both are not spinning? Yeah. It might likely be the transfer. Like I just started the car in first gear then. Oh, it's, it's really bound up. I can't even. Eh. Now, if you know anything about manual vehicles, you'll know that starting a car in first with your foot off the clutch means trouble. Is it going in? No. No, it's. I'll just. Uh, maybe I'll just take the pressure off. It's really yeah. bound up. I just win winter on the flat, mate. Yeah, it's the winters. <clears throat> Is that going in? Is that going in? Uh, Might need a double line port. It doesn't even look like your winches. No, it's really struggling, eh? Like, I'm funny about Jesse will love this. There's a bit going on. I've definitely blown something up in the gearbox or transfer because uh, I'm not getting any drive. So, operation one is to get her on the flat and uh, then reassess, but we're just doing a double line pull. The winch is really struggling. Yeah, it's a big winch. Yeah, this winch is really struggling. Eh? There's something up. Maybe it's a solenoid or something. Yeah, it's the winch is really slow. Like it's never been this slow, even on a double line pull. A little bit of a situation. Obviously, Jocko's got a dead vehicle at the moment but his winch is also playing up. We've got a double line pull and it's hardly pulling the vehicle. There's a couple of little issues here. To be honest, the winch is the least of the dramas, but we need to get him up on the flat first before we can diagnose it properly. I'll just don't move. I'll get No. <laughs> There's a lot of play. I reckon that rear input here, which gives him drive out of the transfer, has actually snapped. Because when I grab the uni, the whole thing's flexing. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, I think just flexing. Yeah. Yeah, so you have basically on these gear driven transfers, you have a main shaft that runs through, obviously. Yeah. And it's a common thing to fail on when you're putting a lot of load on it, and maybe that's what's happened. I think it has. Which means I have zero drive. Yep. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's tough luck. While I figure out a game plan with the Luxie, the rest of the boys are going to get the remainder of the convoy up. And I reckon Sean's gonna put the lockers on for this one. Unlock challenge, baby! <laughs> oh. I always used to get told to stop showing off, and that's exactly what I was doing. Look at me, I've got a sick Hilux with all this suspension. I'm gonna do this unlock, blows his transfer case. Oh. That's a humble pie if ever I've eaten one. After Jocko's attempt, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Try and copy what Sean did. Oh, bugger. Jeepers, creepers. Check those mirrors, objects can appear closer than... That's what I meant to do the first time. <laughs> well, as is up, albeit a mirror down, but at least the vehicle's still driving. Bales is up next, and without that rear locker working, it's going to be a tough slog to get that Ranger up this hill. That's it, keep it going, keep it going. That's it. Yes. That's him. Pop the back up, pop the back up. 
That's it. Well done, mate. Stop there. Stop there. All right, the Big Steady 200 is up, and I reckon Liam's going to give this challenge a good crack. Come on, mate. That's the ticket. That's, that's the drive you're looking for. Yeah, that's the game, mate, on that line. Beautiful. Easy, mate. Well done. With that, the challenge is out of the way. Now we've got to tow Jock's Hilux out of here, which isn't going to be an easy feat, as it's a dead weight with zero drive. Jocko, got a copy, mate? Mate, I certainly do, and uh, tell you what, this is the first time in 10 years of owning this car that I've been towed back to camp because I broke something. Well, mate, it's a common excuse I hear a lot of the time on the track. I'm just kind of surprised I'm now being promoted to uh, team leader at the front of the convoy. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people thinking a Hilux can't handle it out the front, but uh, I reckon we'll get this big rig back to camp, following your lead, and uh, then I'll maybe rip this transfer case out. What do you reckon? Sounds like a good idea, mate, and I've just come around the corner. We're not out of the woods yet, mate. There's another big uh, rock step here. Um, yeah, good luck with this one. It actually looks pretty wild, to be honest. These are some pretty serious rock steps, and with the rest of the convoy motoring their way up, I reckon that the Steady 200 is going to have its work cut out pulling that Hilux through. What do you reckon? We get up pretty close to the steps, unhitch so I can get over the steps, and then we'll rehitch you back up? Yeah, that sounds like a plan, mate. Uh, get the big 200 up the step, and then we'll rehook up the Luxie. Liam's up the first step, but right in front is another big step, followed by a pretty wild rock garden. We've hooked the Luxie up to a snatch to see if the big 200 can pull it up the first step, but if that doesn't work, we'll hook the 200 up to a winch, and hopefully that should be enough to pull both rigs through. All right, good luck. It's still gonna be a bit of a challenge, I reckon. Just gonna have to give it a little bit. Maybe we'll have to winch. There's not enough traction here. Alright, it's on to plan B. And I reckon it's a good call because we don't want to put too much stress on the 200 as it's my ticket out of here. Alright Jocko, let's get you over this. Roger that, winch in baby! Nicely done mate, I'm just coming up to the bottom of the step now. Three quarters way up the step, we're just climbing now. Here she comes. Alright, so far so good. The Luxie is clear of that first step and slowly but surely we're making progress. Very nice, I'm just on the, that flat section now. Oh man, just that last with the steering wheel, I could not hold on to it. It was pulling hard enough and old. All right, on to plan uh, C. The winch worked to pull me up the first step, but with the load of the dead weight on the 200, we're going to need some more pulling power. Down here, is it putting as another heavy Land Cruiser with a bit of power with the 200? So they're both connected, and we're both going to be pulling Jock up this rock step. And um, what's going to happen there is they should both be able to do it nice and easy and idle. And the amount of torque and weight behind their two tow rigs should just carefully and smoothly just tame all the way to the top. Talk about an epic recovery. That's 16 cylinders of Toyota Fury. Yeah, yeah a bit slower if, if you can. Oh, jeez. How's that, Jocko? Yep, that's good. It's not my clutch. 
200. Yeah, I'm up to the rock garden. How's that, Jocko? We're all up. I think there might be some new bruises on my chassis, but uh, yeah, we're up, mate. Thanks so much for the uh, tow up there. You're a box star. It's been a while since we've seen a recovery of that magnitude, but finally the Hilux is up and we've got the end of the track in sight. And it's just in time too, because light's getting a little bit low and I reckon the boys are pretty darn keen to make their way back to camp and crack a few cold ones. I know I certainly am. Hey, Jocko, copy, mate. Mate, I certainly do. And I tell you what, it's nice being towed into camp because um, I can spend more time admiring this sensational view. What a spot, hey? I was just going to ask, how's your fuel economy, mate? Is it going all right? I've idled the whole way to camp, so it's been mint. <laughs> That's the spirit, mate. Well, I've got a campsite just up here on the right. I'll, uh, I'll fix your day, mate. I'll turn the frown upside down with a, a new beaut cooker. And uh, we might even be able to try and diagnose what's going on with your rig. Could be an all-time camp, if you ask me. Yeah, roger that. And wow, what an amazing spot. How cool is this? I'll tell you what though, I'm pretty darn glad that Bailey's brought the camper for a base camp because I can't think of a better thing to come back to at camp and I reckon the Ranger Limited is going to be coming in pretty handy come dinner time. Well, if you ask me, we've got a little campsite like this and to find some old beers from Tasmania in your fridge, it's about as good as it gets. Now, I've been coming to the Waddingans for, heck, about 15, 20 years. And I've got to say, without a doubt, this is the nicest campsite I've ever been to in the Waddos. It leaves a lot of the free camps up there for dead. And it's not even too far away. Tough down the tracks, beautiful campsite. That'll do me. Even with a few little hiccups along the way, I've got to tell you, it's always worth it when you roll out a bit of canvas in a place like this. And what's better? Well, I'm cooking, of course, <laughs> so the day can only go up from here. While I get that ready, Jocko's going to get stuck into the repair and see if he can't work out a game plan to get the Luxie up and running. I've done a bit of diagnosing on the Hilux and I'm pretty confident it's the output shaft in the transfer. So I've removed the transfer case and sure enough, once it's out, you can see exactly what's happened. So I think that the Output shaft has snapped, so I'm just going to take this back cover off to diagnose it. I'm not going to split the case here because uh, I've got to go get some parts, but at least I know for sure what it is, and then uh, I can replace it once I know. Well, that's a clean break. And just as we suspected, the output shaft is going to need replacing. I reckon I've got a bit of a plan on how to fix it, but for now, that's all that can be done. And after today's events, the boys and I have developed a bit of an appetite. Well, how good is this? I mean, not every day you can go out and wheel some really tough tracks, you know, breakages, huge wheel lifts, the occasional rollover and come to a campsite like this. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I've actually commandeered Bailey's camper trailer because look, the setup that sort of is pretty good, but it's just so much space here. I'm gonna make an absolute mess tonight, so bear with me, folks. This one's gonna be a real easy one because sometimes you need easy meals. And this one, folks, if you think oh, camp cooking's a little bit out of my realms, Listen up, because this is going to make it real, real easy. Mate, Jocko, how, how are, are you, mate? So what are you making, mate? It's I basically, see some... it's, look, imagine the inside of your transfer case, Jocko. Well, it's a smash part. Yeah, yeah. So just like that, but imagine more chicken and battle and stuff. I like... wish that was in my transfer case. <laughs> That'd be nice. I could that, pull it apart and have dinner. That sort of thing. So I'm going for like a basic <laughs> Thai meal. First thing you do is, is start the old cooker, if you, if yeah. you wouldn't mind. Roger that. I'm just going to cut this onion. If, if I was you guys and you have kids and you're taking them camping, Get them to cook, to cut the onions. No one likes doing that job. These ones, folks, let's not get mistaken. These are the real deal. Are these hot boys? Yeah, yeah, try one. Adds try. fire to marinades, it says yeah. on the back. So what you, it, look, here's a little hot tip for you. And I mean this, get get these guys out. Get the- The seeds? I thought they made them hot. What, what I want to do is I don't want to ruin the taste by going too hard with the chili. That's not like you. It's not like me, but they really are super spicy. Now, if you're sitting there holding them like I am now, and you forget 
you forget that you've been touching chilies and mucking around with them with your fingers. Don't touch your noodle. It's an easy thing to forget. I've done it, it before. It is, I have. It's like you I'm just come back from Bangkok and you don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, you joke, I don't act like you don't know, mate. No, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sitting there, you need an ice bath. And uh, you've got no idea, it's because... Chili fingers. This is why we have camper trailers, folks. Look at that. That's mint. Yep. Wash the chili off there. And now you do that straight away. Let's not burn the onion. Mm -hmm. Let's not I'll burn the chili. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Now, in this recipe, you can use just about any chicken you want. If you want chicken titties, chicken thighs, you can have anything you want. Um, What's wrong, mate? I haven't. <coughs> I've decided for the thighs. I heard thighs had a bit more flavour in them, too. They certainly do. They're my favourite. Mm -hmm. They're my favourite. And every bloke is different. Every woman's yeah, different. Yeah, I mean. to each their own. Graham likes breast. Graham likes the chicken yeah, breast. So do I. Look, I'm looking at a lion. It's definitely a, a tender cut. But I just <laughs> a bit more flavour in the thigh, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> just basically cut in into small sort of bite-sized pieces. Now, I'm going to put the first That's handful learned, of yep. chicken thigh in. Yeah, we've got that heat nice and high now. Just going to cook that chicken up. The key is cooked chicken. That is one That of the... is one thing I heard. No <laughs> medium rare chicken here. There you go. Just going to give that a wash. I don't normally do this, but tonight. you got a sink, mate. You've got a sink and a full kitchen setup. You may as well. May as well. How big is the water tank? Yeah, he's got like 200 litres of water in this thing. I might have a shower. Mm -hmm. I probably should, mate. You smell yeah, like I do smell. Oil. I smell like diff oil <laughs> and broken parts. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this stuff over. Parts, broken hearts, uh, parts. <laughs> basil. Now, trust me when I say this, get yourself some fresh basil, if you can. And this is gonna test your oh. chefery skills, mate, and yep. mine too. I'm gonna put the coriander and all the basil straight in. Yep. And you gotta somehow, that, that'll wilt it down, don't worry. Oh, there's a bit of onion peel in there. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> right, this one here is a little bit of fish sauce. One tablespoon, two, three. I've got a bit of brown sugar. Now, you, when, this is the thing about Asian cooking, right? Did you take them from the dinner at the pub the other night? <laughs> I got them from the pub. Asians always have their food with the sweet and the um, the sour taste yep. together. Yeah, they yeah, combine yeah. it in a beautiful way. Like sweet and sour pork. So, yeah, that's a well, thing. Well, that's a thing. It's like you and me, mate. Bitter yeah, and sweet. Bitter and sweet. <laughs> Sal salty and spicy. <laughs> Turn this is a bitter one. This one here, coconut cream. <laughs> oh, did you want to help? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you really got that out. There you go. Just that last little bit, I was helping you. I need a hand sometimes, Jocko. We all do. I'll try just a fracker more if I can get away with it. I'll open that. All right. Yeah, do you want what, like, two ears? No, you don't. <laughs> You put me off. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what is that bit of help here? It's really creamed up. <laughs> oh, it's okay. just, just don't look. <laughs> There's always, always looking behind it. Oh, stage fright, mate. Just, no, this never just, usually, this never, usually never happens. happens. Never happens. I, I just, I, the thing is, I'm being careful because I don't want the whole lot. It in. has been a while since you've cooked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Just, I'm just going for a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a lot. That's <laughs> right. Oh, that'll do that. Let that simmer now. So that that's that. It's getting quite warm. And what the simmer process will do, it will start to thicken up a fracco, and also will cook the chicken to perfection. Well, mate, that is looking fantastic. That's been about probably 25 minutes, I mm. reckon. It smells. Unreal, and it's thickening it's, up. It's beautiful, mate. I'm just going to lean right across yeah. there. I'm going to get another pan out. We're going to cook some rice up. This is where the supermarket these days, grab this one, give it a little massage. Mm. We're going to mix the rice around. The whole thing about this, like I said, making it easy, the fact you can go and buy this, as far as I'm concerned, for each, each one of those bits of rice, I'm going to go a little bit of water, maybe about six tablespoons. Done. Give that a little go. Oh, yeah, there's a... Basically, it's already cooked. So what we're doing is just, as soon as it's heated up, She's ready to go. All right, boys. You can go first, John. If you're no, quick. No, no. If you're oh, quick. yeah, if you're right quick. then. Yum. Look at that. Looking good, mate. Yeah. Looking good. Here we go. Here we go. Smells good, doesn't it? Hop in Give there. Just a little scoop of that. I might have to go for a pour later on. Yeah, beautiful. My goodness. That is one of the ages. This is so good, mate. Well done. Put that one down. Grab the ingredients. <laughs> and, folks, if you don't think you can cook around the campsite, Learn how to do this one because it's so easy and the taste, what do you reckon, boys? Unreal. That's good, man. That's not bad at all. Mm. Not bad at all. One more brew, sit around the fire. What yeah. do you reckon? Outstanding. Mm. So good. Yum. Mm.
the guys over at Marta Cars for Cancer are giving you the chance to win a brand new Land Cruiser 300 GR Sport decked out with a Patriot X3 camper trailer, two e-bikes and over $30,000 worth of cashable gold bullion. And you can enter for as little as the cost of a couple of schooners. It's the dream set up for any red-blooded adventurer. And the team at Marta Cars for Cancer are running the lottery where one of you lucky folks at home will win this plus two e-bikes, cashable gold bullion, and tickets start at just 30 bucks. But most importantly, every ticket sold in the Cars for Cancer lottery funds important cancer research and patient care at MARTA. These keys and the entire setup behind me, plus so much more, could all be yours. So do yourself a favor and jump on the website right now, carsforcancer.com.au, and get yourself a ticket. This is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. Well guys, if you can't make it to the Brizzy Four Wheel Drive Show, but you still wanted to take advantage of some of the discounts at the Snatch Stand, well don't worry, because we've got you covered. Same discounts on the Four Wheel Drive 247.com website for this week only. That includes all men's, children's, women's, and also recovery gear. So jump on right now and say big. Well, it's another cracking morning at another specky little camp spot. And even with Jock's transfer currently in pieces, we're not complaining, because Bailey's straight onto the camper trailer, cooking us a little special something to get us warmed up for the day ahead. Jocko and I pack pretty light on these trips, so just as well as Bailey's got the Ranger Limited camper for us to use. With a kitchen that slides out quicker than Jocko can open up his canopy, and a spacious lounge area with comfy seats, it makes the perfect place to enjoy a couple of pancakes and chat about what we've got planned for the day. Oh mate, there's nothing better than waking up to the smell of bacon. Great way to start the day. Nice and relaxed in the camper. I know. Beautiful campsite. I know. And the other good thing is, you weren't able to get that transfer out last yes. night. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a little bit more to go. Well, we got to get that sorted because this morning I'm going to catch up with a little mate. Old Jed, he's, he's a long time fan of the show. Yeah, okay. And uh, he's just super, he's busting to come out on the tracks Sweet. with us, mate. Of course, I promised a good day out in the tracks and you go and break your car, mate. So <laughs> if you can get that fixed. I'm going to have some bacon and pancakes. Yeah. We'll get on the road, hopefully. and Go meet, meet Jed and go for a wheel. Sounds, Sounds good, good, mate. Bales, how are we looking, mate? Yeah, almost there, mate. Look at this. Thank you, mate. Look at that. You just can't beat a base camp set up like that. With the boys fueled up, it's time to pack up the gear and make our way back to the tracks. The beautiful thing about the Wattos is you're really not far from anywhere, and as it turns out, my shed is only about 40 minutes from this campsite. I've actually got a bunch of spare transfer parts at home and should have everything I need to fix the blown one. I'm going to duck back and see if I can't get that repaired and tee up with the boys back in the bush a little bit later on. Bailey's put his hand up to give me a ride back to the shed, and in no time, I'm straight onto the tools. I'm getting stuck straight into pulling my old transfer apart, but I've got to be really careful to make sure I do this step by step, because gear-driven Hilux transfer cases like this one are actually a bunch of cases bolted together. So I've really got to make sure I take my time in pulling everything apart. Despite it being relatively straightforward, it's definitely not something you want to get wrong, because one thing in the wrong place could mean a repeat of yesterday, and I reckon the boys have had enough breakages for one trip. Here is the stripped output shaft that I broke. I'll get the other one so you can see. So she snapped clean, quite a clean break actually. As you can see here, there are a lot of different cases that bolt together with the gears inside. So I'm making sure I lay everything out nicely so I can put it all back together and know it'll be working correctly. It's starting to look like a transfer case again. There we go. We're on. So now I've just got to build the rest of the case. All tickety-boo, I'm making sure I'm talking everything up to spec, putting a bit of copper grease on the um, bolts for the case and stuff so they don't seize and cleaned it up nicely. Getting there, how good. All right, that's one rebuilt Hilux transfer case. I ended up having to use a fair bit of gasket goo because I didn't have any uh, gaskets left. But for now, just get it back to Luxie, chuck it in and we can continue wheeling. 
Well, a couple hours later and one transfer case rebuild done, we met back up with the boys who enjoyed a well-deserved morning off and wasted no time getting the transfer back in the Luxie. Fingers crossed I knew what I was doing, eh? <laughs> Watch your fingers. Are right, you ready? Didn't want, didn't want to come out, eh? Yeah, you can do that and maybe tap it at the same time. And that's a job well done, I reckon, and I couldn't have done it without help from the boys. Now, let's hope it holds together, because we have an awesome day planned with a little legend. Hey, Jocko, you roll on your own steam, mate. That must feel good. Mate, I tell you what, it's a nice feeling to let the clutch out and actually have drive. The big Luxie's back and ready to wheel. Perfect timing too, mate. We're going to go meet our little mate. Um, jet just up the road here and bang right on cue. <laughs> there he is. He's looking absolutely stoked too. How are you mate? <laughs> Good to see you buddy. You made it. As I understand it, you're pretty keen to come for a wheel with us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Well we can mate. Let's, let's waste no time I reckon. Jump in a rig. Your choice. You can, you can swap them around actually as the day goes on so you get a bit of a taste of all the different rigs. You can go from the smelliest one <laughs> to the best one. And there's a few in between as yeah. well, mate. There's a few in between. So what do you reckon? We go tackle a couple of tracks? Yes. Cool, mate. That sounds like a plan. Now, Jet and his mum, Samantha, are locals here in the Central Coast, and they've joined us for a day of wheeling in the Wadigans. Unfortunately, Jet's had a really tough couple of months, being diagnosed with a brain tumour and losing most of his vision at the end of last year. But Jet is a hardcore fan of the show and one of the toughest blokes you'll ever meet. And he absolutely loves four-wheel driving. So of course, it wasn't gonna stop him from hitting the tracks with us. Mate, welcome to Sooty. That's it, that's it, perfect. You've done this before. <laughs> yep, whack that on. All right, all right. <laughs> now, the, oh yeah, you're already locked in, your seatbelt's on, that's good. Now, if you want to do us a favour, just let everyone know who to follow. So press that in as you talk. You say, follow along, boys. Follow along, boys. That's it, that's it. This is a pretty wild introduction to four-wheel driving that we're attempting, and Sooty is really going to be tested. But with Jet as my co-pilot, I reckon we've got half a chance. Come on, Sooty. Come on, Sooty. Don't let us down now, please. <laughs> please. This is where it's going to get a bit steep over here. Okay. We're going to lean on your side a little bit, I think. Oh, it's just a wheel in the air. We're going to drive through that. Come on, Sooty. Come on, Sooty. You can do it. There we go. Up we go. We made it. Well done. Well, this is a pretty serious rock set, and hopefully Jet's smiling from ear to ear in there, because I think Sean's a bit scared. Uh, left hand down as you come up, mate. That's it. Yep, stay left. That's you. Stay on that. Smidge your right. That's it. Touch my left now. Cool, come up on that. Beautiful, right? Front right's about to start climbing up. Doesn't feel right. I oh, know, once he steers to me. No, just stay to me easy. as he come up. It's just starting to climb now. Come on. Come on, come on. Yep, that's you. Stay hard left, climbing up now. Stay on that. Ooh. Ooh. We, we might take a different approach yeah. to this, I think. You're right. You're okay. If you want, yep. you can square up to it a bit more if yeah. you don't want to try and drive through that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yep, you can get going forward on that. I'm beginning to feel the uh, on your side now. <laughs> yeah, that's much nicer. Okay. You got to just go back if you want. Easy. <laughs> Yep, that's you. Yep, stay on that. Come on. Just stay on that. Your front's got to climb another step. Steer to me just a smidge. Another one? Yeah, that's, that's it. Steve, isn't it? Yeah. Just wanting your back left to climb. Come forward. You know what? Jocko, I've got the winch on it. I think uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit scared here, so. All right, no worries, we'll I'm go for a winch. I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, Mum, I'm gonna have to put the winch on. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty wild angle for Sooty, and without that sway bar, I reckon getting the winch out is the right call. You've got to try and winch into the wall, then up. If the nose is already out, then it's just it should be pretty smooth sailing. Yeah. No, you'll start to feel the car. See, it's, it's grabbed the car now. So now we're pretty safe. Yep, that very feels better. Yeah, it does feel better, doesn't it? Yep. Not, still got to get up this big steep thing though. It's going to get a little bit. Wild. Oh, that's a heck of a lot of force on the winch, but Soot is slowly climbing up. They're coming straight up. Oh, that feels good. Feels better, doesn't it? Yep. Very nice. Solid effort, Jet. I don't reckon Sean could have done it without you. Alright, I'm up next and Jet's mum, Samantha, has decided to jump in for a ride in the Luxie. I'm sorry in advance. I've never taken a lady up a real wild rock, rock step, so... <laughs> My heart rate's that. 104. Is that high? Yeah, it's usually 60. How's that look? <laughs> I want to... <laughs> I'm nervous for the car. I don't want to rip the car. Let's see what happens if we go up here. How? It's... Hold on, Samantha. This is going to feel pretty wild. Hey. Almost. Yeah, almost. Go from there. <laughs> We're going to flip backwards. It's not a bad angle either. Like it's actually. Just yeah, come, try come back. A just oh, I think a little bit. A the the tire will come up a tiny bit, and then it will come. Okay. Give it a bump, you reckon? Oh my god. Maybe just hold on for this run. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Oh! Well, how's this, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you reckon, Jet? Your mum's pretty cool, hey? <laughs> well, I did apologise in advance, but the Luxie's up and we're all in one piece. Now, Jet had so much fun in Sooty, he was keen for round two, so he's going to jump in with Liam for another ride. And I don't blame him, because that 200 looks pretty comfy on these tracks. Which line are you going to take the big rig up? Uh, once I get through this section here, square up to the big step and uh, try and pop the front up and we'll see what happens. Roger that mate, just take it nice and steady and see how you go. I see what you did there, that's what <laughs> I like you doing. Oh, so funny. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever made that joke before. <laughs> so you'll probably hear a few crunches because uh, the tyres like to go right up into the flares. Liam's going to have to steer this one perfectly if he wants to get this step. But Jet's got faith in the big rig, so let's see how it goes. Front right's coming up. Can you feel that? Yep. <laughs> There's a rock at your back left tyre, so it's going to hold you up a bit, but you should be able to drive to it. Lean into it, Jet. Lean into it. Hey! hey. <laughs> How'd that feel? That felt awesome. Oh, a bit more crunching. Yep. Put in first gear. That's you, mate. That's beautiful. Front's just starting to climb on the left here. Front right to the rock. That's it. Just walking up. Front's coming all the way up. How's that feel? <laughs> it feels awesome. <laughs> You're almost there. If you come right hand down and try that again, you might be right. Yeah, I reckon go from there. Oop, yep. Steer right as you come up. Yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah buddy! <laughs> left hand down, left hand down. How was that, Jet? That was awesome. <laughs> Give us a high five, mate. <laughs> oh, what a drive. <laughs> well done, mate. How'd that feel, Jet? <laughs> yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Pretty wild in there, isn't it? <laughs> Don't underestimate the 200, eh? <laughs> no.
Well, I reckon Jet won't forget that anytime soon. And we won't either, because it was awesome to have Jet and Samantha along for the day. I just want to say a massive thank you to come and join us on this trip, mate. If you put it there, get to shake your hand, because, you mate, me. that was so much fun. Yeah. And we're not done just yet, because our mate Jocko has got a couple of little things Here for you. Go, you. Mate. Oh my God. Got a couple yeah. of things for you. Yeah, Hold that for, you, for me. Mate. Hang on, I got more. Hold them too. I suppose now you're right with that. Right? <laughs> Everything. We we oh we heard off a little birdie that you wanted to get yourself some more snatch gear, and you've just about got everything else. So we got you the new um, duffel bags. That's the weekend and the bigger one. That's if you go on a bigger trip. Plus all the clear got top bags. A couple bags. of these for organising your stuff when you get your dream highlights, so, mate. And there's a couple of shirts in there as well oh, for you. Thank it's you. It's so pretty much. cool. Here you go. That's oh, amazing. Let me hold that off. Yeah, that, they're pretty. They're pretty. Like, they're pretty heavy. Those things. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that. You fit you in there. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you reckon was the best drive of the day? Dogs Highlux. <laughs> <laughs> 200, 200. Big 200? 200. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was pretty impressive. Pretty yeah. impressive. 200, definitely. No, very good, mate. Well, you're welcome. Part of the team anytime. Jet, mate, it's been an absolute blast having you along. Even if it was a little late because someone's Hilux broke down. <laughs> Sorry, mate. If you guys at home want to help out kids all around the country like Jet, We'll leave a couple of links below to some amazing organisations that have helped Jet and Samantha through this tough time. Well, another Wadigan's adventure done and dusted, mate. Hey, mate, had an absolute ball. Some yeah. of the tracks in here are out of control. It really is. The Wadigan's offer, offers either really easy tracks, and they're usually the fire trails going in and out, <laughs> yep. and, and everything just... else is pretty darn wild. Mate, I've had an absolute ball, not just on the tough tracks, but to take our mate Jet out. Oh, I mean... Absolute <laughs> highlight, not just for, like, the trips we've done just to come out with a little kid like that and he's, drive some tracks. What, what, what surprises me about him, I mean, he's been dealt a pretty bad card, and for a bloke like that to smile from here to here, yep. well, that says it all. But our adventure isn't done just yet, folks. We're going to continue north and hit some more tough tracks. You'll have to see all of that on YouTube. So for now, it's time to head back to base camp, mate. Mate, that's a great idea. Go down to the camper trailer, one night camping yeah. in this beautiful area. Stunning. And then I reckon we just mosey on our way north. Head and north, yeah. I actually got a little bit of a surprise. There's a couple of secret pubs I know. Well, mate, that sounds a little bit like a tough track pub crawl, which I am dead keen for. <laughs> mate, I think it might be. But you folks will have to wait and look out for that one. In the meantime, we're going to air up and we'll catch you around next time, folks. Thanks, guys. Next time on Four Wheel Drive 24-7, join us as we do something we haven't done in a while, a good old-fashioned East Coast road trip. We're going pub to pub and hitting every track in between. That was the wildest spot I think I've ever done. There was millimetres in that. Best mates, beers and well breakages. Ah, stop. So the whole hub has shattered. Oh, hang on, a bit worse than that though. Don't miss it, only on Four Wheel Drive 24-7. <laughs> yeah!